A few months ago, this area housed thousands of Liberia refugees who, for some three decades ago, fled Liberia's civil war to seek refuge here in Ghana. But if you look at me today, all those structures have been demolished. Now, this area, alongside all the over 500 acres acquired to house these refugees, have come up for demolition from February all the way till the end of the year when the project is hoping to be completed. On today's edition of the City Newsroom, we are asking many questions that have popped up around these demolitions. What happens to the thousands of Liberian refugees who sought refuge here in Ghana during the period? Most of them have been caught up in about 13 centers, including schools and churches, while they wait for their fate on the matter. Now, owners of the land are also saying they didn't intend to go ahead with the development we're seeing over here. We will answer these questions and many more in today's edition of the City Newsroom. So right behind me, you can see the Bodumburam Point Hope DA Basic School. This school was put up by the refugees years ago when they settled here. But today, this school has become a sort of make shift shelter for these refugees who have been forced to abandon um, their homes because of the demolition. Now, right in front of the gate, see the Liberian flag here. If you look around, all the classrooms have been numbered uh, to show the number of people there and who is here. So you can see uh, that one has gone off, but room two and those numbers go around room two, room three, and all that, all the way to 17, 18. But let's go into uh, these places or classrooms to see how the people are living here. We were the very first, we that in this room, were the very first people house, houses that they broke down. Mm -hmm. And this was when? February 27, okay. on Tuesday. On Tuesday, mm -hmm. Tuesday where our net men in Ghana here, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, that day, as you can see, they're maturing them, all lying down here. My son, everyone also in the room here. Even food. Someone just fried a donor and sharing a one one to us. Can they donor sustain us the whole day? Thank you very much. Can you take me around what it's like to sleep here? I can see um, your mattresses. Um, what, what's going on here? How do you share the area and all that? At night, we paddle all these things together. The lady that is here, she's blind. She has gone to the restroom. We pack all these things here and face our mattresses. Each. Here. 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 And these are our things there. That so, we use so it. your children are not in school now because of what is happening? They are not in school, as you can see. They are the one lying here. My daughter, they are not in school. Me, I'm, not, I'm not even talking about school, sir. But let her come see about all you get. How person will live, they cannot learn. How person, woman will live like this. My dear. Sleeping in a room with different, different people that you haven't been sleeping with. At least all horses were here were better because we have our own lay places to sleep. But see the condition here. Mosquito, everything. See the flow. See the flow. They flow. That's only for people to lay on. Let's take you to where they have to use as their washroom. There's over 2,000 people located here and similar circumstances in the other center. So there you can see it. A very, very deplorable situation here. This is supposed to be... Um, a washroom for them to have their bath um, for all these 2,000 and more people. You can see um, that the locked washrooms, restrooms over there. And so the, this one, two, three, four, four structures have to contend the over 2,000 people living here. So I've come into another classroom. Uh, over here, I'm told men and women 
are here. Remember the first place I took you were more of women and children. Well, what does the future hold for you with what is happening now? What, what is, what's like the for? for me, yeah. I'm a mechanic by professional. You're a mechanic? Yes. Wow. For what? I learned mechanic on my own sweat. But Ghana government, the passport they gave up, you cannot get no work in Ghana. So what I learned is useless. What I'm seeing is almost like xenophobia attitude towards their human brothers, like the African brothers, especially West African brothers. So it shows that um, all the things we said, we, we've not lived up to it. That's how you feel. You, me, you are very sad about it, aren't you? For me, I feel that like the government of Ghana disappointed us. You came, you put names out for passport vetting, aqua passport vetting, for which you brought a brand passport. So those who are for local negotiation in Ghana, you get them passport, you renew the passport. You try to get them grant between 2013 and 2014. Adult 400, children 200. And that grant can allow someone to work the rent house in Ghana for more than 10, 15 years to the person, to you. Can you live with that grant at this point? How much? 1,000. I sell 400 US dollars. In Korea at the time, about 884 in Ghana cities. Oh, you have some speakers. You listen to music? Oh, in, the, in, in distress and my music comfort. What, what kind of music do you listen to? Can you play something for me? I listen to Christian music. Can you play something for me? What kind of music? And I can see your Bible. Is that what you use for your pillow, the, the cloth? So you don't have a pillow? So, Mr. Newman, um, here in this classroom, says he has to play these gospel songs every now and then to distress. You are I, Jesus. You are all. I'm going to take you to one of the rooms. I'm going there because we're told that one of the occupants of that room is suffering from cancer. So let's see um, what the situation really is. They might cancel. They still not cancel. How long have you had the cancer? How long? So when they brought that integration, excuse me, or my daughter, almost years now, when they brought that money, that integration, some of maybe that girl was telling us to go and take treatment, cancer treatment. Is that money for renting? Just yeah, eight million. That time was to the hospital, hospital la. It's under cities. Yes. So that money it can't rent. It can't pay the children's school fee and feed you and the family. Someone who not have mother and no father, no husband, nothing at all. And you give the person eight million. Eh? To go and rent. And that did, did they know you had um, the cancer at the time? They, they would know. Did you tell them? When they are going to a meeting, we can't go with, with them to a meeting. Sometimes when the UN call them for meeting, we can be at home when they come before they tell us. So you can't say, look at my, my, my condition when you go and tell the people that I'm sick. So when they brought that money, I used the money for my cancer treatment. It was not money for me to rent. So when this few days now, almost two months now, we saw machine damaging our horses. What, what did the doctor say is wrong with you? Do you know what is wrong with you? I don't let it stop. They think I want to stop. They don't hold me. So how are you surviving here? Oh. We be a people sometimes. We can be as much more than they go to the We are with, we, we eat. I know it. If they, they won't come, it will be thin day. It's much more thin than they go to who will take it. The they started, I mean, I must say, my not always, I must say, I'm Your hand. Yeah. You also have stroke? Yeah, they seen, they seen almost three, three, three more now. Yeah, it started on me. A very um, distressing situation here. A mother has had stroke for four years. The daughter, too, has stroke for four months now, and um, they tell me when the demolition started, they were in the camp, and the next thing, the demolition started, and they had to find a way to come here. As we speak, her medication is almost run out, and it's been very challenging. So these are some of the sights and sounds from this camp.
Now, if you look at this um, school where we're just coming from, you see the red marks, which is um, basically saying that it will be demolished. So the school itself, which is currently serving as shelter for these men and women, we're told will be demolished. The case we're told on whether or not it should be demolished is in court. You can see, still see some structures along this place. So you can see these buildings, some already in a pretty bad um, shape. And then you can see all these structures on the right side have been earmarked for demolition. But there's a twist to these demolitions have we've, as we've come to understand. Now, if you look at my left side, you see a church, right? This is St. Gregory Catholic Church, Bodumbura. Now, structures like this, well-planned structures, we're told will not be demolished. You can see the broken blocks, debris, rubbles here at the camp. All this stretch used to have buildings housing these refugees. Right here behind me is where the woman died. We still see work still ongoing around the demolitions. You can see um, sort of an excavator and then the tractors and clearing the debris around this place. A few men and women still trying to salvage um, some wood. I'm going to speak to the chairman of the Liberian community here at the Budumburam camp. So in all these things, has the Liberian government reached out to you? We, we, we informed them and they said they are on their way coming. So we are still waiting on them. This was when? On Sunday? Uh, that was uh, last week. I spoke with the ambassador and he said the Liberian government that we're coming. So we are still waiting for What them. about the refugee board? Refugee board said we have, we, 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 the refugee board itself, party said we have no human being, no human being living here. But what does that mean? It means that he has nothing to do with us. What about UNHCR? Oh, UNHCR do everything through Ghana refugee board. We call and they say you go through Ghana refugee board. And since then, Ghana refugee board has not even come to say anything. Even those, they even say they are people of concern. Since the incident, I didn't bring a back of water here. And then some have um, occupied that school over there, the primary school, the women, the vulnerable, and all that. And I'm told this is in court for them to leave there. Yeah, that's what they say. They verified that we moved, that we thought they were going to be like a, maybe a portion of the camp and see how best to absorb the other people in the other place. But the next day, they begin to demolish this camp from that end to here. So they are nowhere. So we are going to the court. When is the court case? On the, on, on the 11th of April. And we believe that the judge, will not, uh, uh, a presiding judge is not by us. He's going to look into the case and see what's happened there. What's the, what the verdict? We, we agree to it. All these pictures you're seeing, this is by day. The conditions in which people have to live to survive whilst they find a solution to the problem. By night and during the raining period is a very distressing scene. Calvis Tete, who is our correspondent here in the central region, came by or moved along the area at night to see how the many men and women children are coping during the night. And he filed this report. Women, children and the sick at the Budumburam camp have been the most vulnerable and severely affected by the demolition exercise which has lasted for over a month. Some women who spoke to City News said they were taken by surprise when the exercise began as they had no prior knowledge of it. They lamented that they could not salvage any personal belongings due to being poorly informed, leading to the loss of their valuables. Those unable to afford rent have sought refuge at the Point Hope DA Basic School. However, the large numbers at the school have forced some to sleep outside with their children, even though they are within the school compound. Others who did not find space inside the school are sleeping outside in tents while some lay their mattresses on the bare ground to sleep, braving the cold weather, mosquitoes, and the threat of criminals. Here are some displaced refugees speaking to City News after a nighttime visit to the area to observe post demolition activities. The room is all filled. Like me, I sleep outside. 
with all mosquito night. I think you are seeing my sleeping clothes for me now. That's how I went to sleep. On one on the bench. The benches that we sitting on, that some of all bed. It's not easy for her. It's so frustrating. At times you're sleeping and your child wants to come to sleep with you and see yourself lying down on a bench. Sleeping on a bench, you leave the bench for the children to sleep. The rooms here, the windows are open. There is no net, there is no uh, ceiling, nothing. The place is just open like that. And you are sleeping and doors open on you. It's not safe at all. Yeah, there are also mosquitoes biting you. It's, it's terrible. Now, what you mean? Uh, even going extreme now. There are no school, no education, nothing there. No, my dear, and it made me to make my mind to go by a special way. I came from 1990 to explore a war. No, my nothing happened to me. My mind went back. 1990. I, I came here in 1993. I get three living children. My very second children, I get three now. I get my other children living with me. They are two, so I get five children. They with me plus myself, we are six. So I think you can see here. Yeah. Uh, one of my sisters said they were suffering from cold, so she said, me carry the ball. Why is it my turn now here? Well, me, I want to say one thing you. Why Africa is wicked on Africa? Yeah, if there were American people were treating Africa the way, I think all the country would be talking, that American people. But Africa, we are on a, we call one people, we call one equals. And they are treating us, they want a million of that one. Oh, I sleep right outside. You see my things? You see my wheelchair? Still right outside. And then now I just sleep their place. I put my small my friend and lay down. A room, their foot. A foot. All the rooms are foot. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm crying. People are sleeping, crying. They so I get him and they sleep right here. Yes. Some displaced refugees expressed disappointment with the government of Ghana and the Liberian Authority for their perceived lack of interest in the matter. Calvis Tete, City News, Gumwabu Dumbura.